Hello guys, David here, founder of SuperThread, and welcome to my SaaS devlog. So as you know, at SuperThread, we are trying to create the fastest issue tracker that's really, really nice and delightful to use. Now, in order to achieve that, we use a bunch of tools and services out there which help us achieve our goal. Now, the three products I'd like to talk about today are the products that we find stand out out of all the products which help us run our operation more smoothly. And these three products are Figma, which is a graphics design tool, Miro, which is a diagramming tool, and Oyster HR, which helps us employ people abroad. So without further ado, let's go through them. So first of all, Figma. Figma is a real-time graphics design tool. Now, before I go on and talk about Figma, let me talk about what came before. Now, before Figma, we had Photoshop and Illustrator. And these are Adobe products and basically aimed at graphics designers. And they're quite hard to learn and not very good when it comes to creating UI and UX flows. Also with Adobe suite of products is that they're quite expensive, especially for startups and single creators. So for example, to pay for one person for one seat per month costs $50 which is quite extortionate. And that led to the development of Sketch, which is a really nice tool, which is only on Mac, but suddenly this was much more nice to use when it came to creating UI and UX flows. And it was actually usable by even programmers because it was very intuitively designed. It was a very easy way of actually embedding objects inside of each other, and it was quite approachable to anybody. So Sketch is a wonderful tool, but once again, the problem with Sketch is it's a single player game which means that only one person can work on the file at the same time. So for example, if I wanted to work with my graphics designer, I would need to be hovering next to his screen or he would need to do a screen share, which is always quite flaky and unpleasant. And he would be driving the actual editing of the file and I would just be making comments. And this is what brings us to Figma. Now Figma is a graphics design tool, very much like Sketch. It more or less has the same features as Sketch, perhaps even more now, except that it's a multiplayer tool, which means that I can collaborate on the same file with my graphic designer and he can see my cursor moving, I can see his, we can add objects and move objects at the same time. We can also comment and point to the object we are commenting on, which makes it very easy to make changes and explain clearly as to what's going on. So I would say that Figma is a superior tool because of their architectural decisions from the very, very beginning. Now Figma is a web-based tool, which means that you can run it inside of your browser. I know what you're thinking. It can't be that fast, but actually it is because it's been built in this kind of a technology called WebAssembly, which means that it's built natively and it's just embedded inside of the browser. So it works really, really optimally. And also if you want to use a standalone app, you can, and that's what we use. So it's a really nice tool. So the next tool I'd like to mention is Miro. Now Miro is a diagramming tool and it's a really nice and kind of pleasant tool to use. Once again, it's a multiplayer tool so I can actually work on diagrams at the same time as my team members. I can see their cursors moving on the screen. They can add and move objects at the same time as everyone else. And moreover, they can actually add their own video inside of the actual diagram. So it's a really real time tool. So you're kind of everyone's present inside of the diagram, literally, and moving objects and adding objects and collaborating on a workflow diagram at the same time. So I would definitely recommend Miro, but moreover, I'd like to recommend that when you're designing an app, you should definitely do workflow diagrams. I mean, I used to do them before. I used to kind of draw them or use this tool called Sketch.io. Once again, it wasn't a real-time tool and I didn't really take it that seriously, but then I kind of changed and now we have precise diagrams for absolutely every single scenario that happens inside SuperThread. And this makes things very, very easy to understand for programmers and designers and I definitely recommend investing time in creating workflow diagrams for everything inside of your app. And the third product I'd like to mention is called Oyster HR. Now in this kind of COVID world where all the companies are fully remote, suddenly we have a new situation where the global talent has become kind of available to everybody. Now prior to COVID, if you try to employ somebody in London or San Francisco, it'd be very difficult because these cities are extremely expensive and the pool of talent was quite small. So it'd be very difficult for startups to find employees. But now things are different and people are beginning to employ people from various countries. However, if you want to employ people in different countries, you don't know the laws, you don't know the tax situation, 
and you don't want to worry about any of that. You don't want to get in trouble with the local authorities. So this is why Oyster HR comes in. So you can actually say, I want to employ this person from this country and they kind of take care of all of it for you. So you just pay them the salary and they take care of all the taxes and pay that person the salary. So you don't have to worry about any of the legalities, any of the problems. So it makes it really kind of frictionless employing people from abroad. And on top of that, I really like their mission where they want to stop the global brain drain. You would have basically people from poorer countries kind of leaving and coming to, let's say, London to get a job and because they couldn't get a job where they are. But now they can, you see, so they don't have to leave their own countries. So I really like their mission and it's a really good company and I thoroughly recommend their product. So that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys liked it. Please leave a comment and tell me what your products are, what your standout products are. Perhaps we will learn something that we haven't come across before. So I'm really interested to see what you guys use on a daily basis and what you find very useful. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.